No, after right now, I'll have a mouthful. Yeah, like full mouthful before mm -hmm. you take the next one. I'll yeah, in. of a dry scum. <laughs> what are you expecting out of the race and how does it play to your strengths? Um, yeah, I've talked to a few people, uh, Ben Hoffman, Lindsey Corbin. It sounds like it's it, it's not an easy course. It sounds like it's rolling uh, rolling on the bike and I think the two laps of it will, will add up. Ben was saying the, the run is kind of sneaky hard. I think for me, that's that's kind of where where I train back home. We don't have any flat riding. It's it's just you're either up or down, and um, so I think it'll suit me quite well. And and then the run is just just about being efficient and pacing. Um, first day after travel is always just for me is usually just feeling everything out, just easy. You know, this morning I ran ran over to the race site, kind of looked around, got a feel for it. You know, I might swim maybe 45 minutes. I'm, I'm near the end of my career right now. I'm just kind of thinking of what, what the next things are. Um, so I'd like to go back to Kona one, one more time, um, but I'm also okay not going back. I just want to do races I want to do and I want to have fun. And you know, part of the reason I came here is because this is an Ironman I haven't done before. You know, I wanted to you know, do, do a new Ironman and if I get a Kona spot out of it, well then, I guess that maybe means I'm I'm racing another year, and you know we'll see how that challenge comes, and and if it and if it's there, then you know that's that's what I've done my whole career is build towards challenges. It's been it's been a few years since a good Ironman, so um, so I really I chose this race because I feel like I'm in a good spot, and I feel like I'm I'm fit and ready for a good Ironman, so I'm actually pretty excited about it. So Chloe, why why Wisconsin? Um, I did Mont Blanc three weeks ago, and I wanted to do another race um, before I went back home. So this worked pretty well into the schedule. And um, I've been training in Salt Lake City for the last couple of weeks, and um, yeah, it wasn't that far to fly over, so I thought it was working well. I have just over a two-hour ride um, with some race pace efforts, thirty-minute run off the bike as well. So just to make sure that everything's like working well on the bike after unpacking it and traveling. I'm expecting it to be a pretty tough bike course, um, like pretty punchy climbs. I'm a pretty good swimmer, so I expect to come out of the water like close to the front and then try and stay there for as long as I, as long as I can. And what would a podium mean to you? Or what would winning mean to you here this weekend? It's been a tough like 12 months with a little bit of sickness and injury. And yeah, it would mean a lot. I think everyone always wants to get on the podium. Everyone dreams of winning. I've raced Kona three times as an age grouper. So it's been a dream since I've turned pro to get a spot to race in Kona. Um, I think it's going to be beautiful because it's very nice and lush and green but it's going to be yeah, a really tough course as well the atmosphere in wisconsin is amazing so really drawing all that energy from all the supporters out there What do we got going on today? Well, we've got some CO2s because those always get taken away whenever you fly somewhere. <laughs> and we have some like motivation to go riding today. <laughs> I, I remember there's one really big downhill with a nice sharp turn in it. And I remember there's a downhill where it's like an S turn. And today I probably won't ride it in the aero bars, but I, I want to get a good idea of like whether or not I would do that in the race. This course has just enough technical stuff that there's little spots where you can get a little bit of free time and it's worth having. This bike course is hard, right? It's like, I don't think anyone's going to be setting any like sub nine record times here. It's, it's going to take a long time to get around there. I honestly have been a little disappointed with how my riding has been so far this year. So I'm hoping that my proper riding strength is here. There's a few goals left on the on the long term bucket list and winning an Ironman is one. I haven't achieved that yet. I've been second quite a few times. And also just kind of proving that you can be at that level of performance at this age. I, th I think that's largely the, the driver for me. I have an opportunity to show like women in particular and men, like there was a previous assumption to aging and like performance level as you get older. 
And certainly when I was 40, I was adamant that I was actually getting better. The more of us that prove that and show that, you know, we can skew this whole aging expectation as long as possible, it's better for athletes that are approaching 40 because they may be able to find a little bit more potential. And I think it's good for society to stop saying that, you know, women's you know, productive lives are over when they turn 40. So um, I don't know. I think I feel pretty strongly about that stuff. first race since posting your uh, retirement video. How are you feeling? It's, it's such a, such a pull. It's a happy, sad feeling. And I'm pulling to one side one moment and I'm pulling to the other side the other moment. And when people come up and say things to me about where I call them an Iron Man or uh, that I'm going to call them an Iron Man, at this race or Arizona or New Zealand, wherever I may be, the next six events. People were sharing their stories with me, their, their life stories and what they've overcome. And I, I felt honored that I was included in their family, even before they came to the event. Uh, and so when they're at the event, you know, the, old, the Ohana, the family is, God, so darn strong and the pull that's what will pull me for the rest of my life. The, the fact that I can't be with a group of people that have been my family for, you know, 40 years. I'm not looking at going out with some kind of bang. It'll be emotional, you know. It'll be emotional here in Wisconsin. It'll be emotional in Kona. Uh, the last call. The last one in Arizona. The last North America event. And then the last one in New Zealand. I, I have no plans of doing anything different except doing what I've always done. It's for, it's for them, it's for nobody else. I don't care if you're tired, if your feet hurt, if your voice hurts, it, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. What matters is them. So that's, what, that's what's always driven me and that's what will drive me for the next seven, six events. So uh, this family, this community, man, it's nothing but strength and passion. It's so strong. Uh, and it's never going to go away. <laughs>